What's up everyone? Devotional for today brought to you by Cruise. Um, so today, have you ever felt like you, you feel like you're still going back to your old self and to your old ways and, um, you know, you feel blind and short-sighted. You know what you should be doing, but you're not doing it. Almost as if you've forgotten that you've been cleansed of your former sins. Well, Peter writes about this and gives advice on that. If we look at Second Peter, verse 9, it says, But the one who lacks these things is blind and short-sighted because he has forgotten that he was cleansed from his former sins. But check this out. He says, Therefore, brothers, diligently make your calling and elections sure, for if you do these things, you will never stumble. So what are these things that he talks about? Well, let's go back a couple verses and see the advice that he gives. And he says, For this reason, make every effort to add virtue to your faith. So the first thing that you get is faith. What you're going to add on top of that is virtue. And to your virtue, knowledge. And to your knowledge, self-control. And to your self-control, patience, endurance. And to your patience, endurance, godliness. And to your godliness, brotherly kindness. And finally, to your brotherly kindness, love. For if these things reside in you and abound, they ensure that you will neither be useless nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you feel like you're not doing the work for God, or you feel like you're disconnected from God, connect with Him and check out these steps and do it in that order. Because see what happens is, if you don't have that love, that's because you're not practicing brotherly kindness or brotherly love for those around you. If you don't have that love around you, or you feel like you're not practicing that brotherly kindness, it's because you don't have the godliness. And that godliness is like a cleansliness, right? You're, you're pure, you're clean. It could even be inside of your car. Maybe you got to start keeping that clean or your bedroom, right? Start practicing it and making it a lifestyle for you. A lifestyle change. If you don't have that godliness or you're falling short on that, it's because you're not practicing a patience and endurance. Um... You're not practicing patience, you know. You might, you got to start, you got to conquer that first and have patience in all scenarios. If you're not, if you don't have patience, it's because you don't have self-control to be able to practice patience. So you got to have the self-control. And if you don't have self-control, well, it's because you don't have the knowledge. You got to have the knowledge first in order to practice self-control. Because you got to, you got to be in the know. You got to know how. To control yourself right and if you don't have the knowledge it's because you don't have the virtue and the virtue is valor or the courage right the courage to stand up for what you believe in and in order to stand up for something that you believe in it means you got to believe in something and that's your faith so practice these steps use this as a barometer to see where you're falling short and if you realize man you know what I lost my patience in this situation well that means that means you need to practice your self-control fasting helps with self-control fasting from you know anything social media from food that helps to improve your self-control you know you find out that you're not being kind to your brothers and your sisters in Christ that's probably because you're not practicing godliness so nail that down and Peter definitely says, if you do these things, you will never stumble. So that's my Devo for you guys. Something practical. Put it to use. Uh, have that checklist by your side at all times. So if you do falter, you know where you're at. And you know where to pick yourself back up. Um, it's really amazing that in the Bible, it's this was written, what, 2,000 some years ago? And it's still practical now. So, check out Second Peter. That's verses 5 through 10. And if you got that faith, then add all these other things to it and you will never stumble. Peace and love all.